Welcome back everybody into TechPress. I'm going to be showing you today's tutorial how you can add a count timer into your Shopify store. So let's just jump straight into the tutorial. There's two ways of how we can do this. The very first and most easy way as we all love to do totally for free is to do this with an application. If you go back into Shopify, you can go into your dashboard and inside your dashboard, you wanted to go into the left part that says applications. Into applications, I wanted to look out for countdown. So it's for countdown in the Shopify App Store. Usually, this keyword could be helping me to find the right application to add this directly into my store. So, as you can see, we have the show gun landing page builder. We have the essential countdown timer bar. We have a lot of applications. But what we actually do here is just to add the countdown timer bar application that has really great ratings and really. Uh, great downloads as you can see this one have the actual 1000 downloads so i'm going to choose this option as you can see there's a free plan available and you can see how it's going to be looking your countdown so if you like what you're seeing here hit it to install and then what is left to be done is just to customize your countdown. Usually the installation of the application should be added into the load pod. So as you can see, I can always feature this. I can pin this into my apps, pin to the navigation. So I click there. And as you can see, we have the dashboard, translation, plans and pricings, and good to go. So now what I wanted to do is to get started with the actual counting down. So let's go here into our dashboard, create new bar. And we have basic templates. Of course, we are into the free boson. So let's focus into something uh, easy. For example, the bold and clear. Now, as you can see, here's like a preview. Now into the content configuration, let's say that I wanted to go and name this message before timer. Our anniversary sale will end in message after timer. Let's go 50% off for all orders. Add button on the bar if you wanted to. If you don't, you can just don't make a bar clickable include the close button let's go into no and if you wanted to do that you're going to hit into yes like this the x mark so now if you like what you're seeing here you can just change the campaign starts let's say today and it's going to be ending uh, on the last day of august for example and you hit into apply now i'm gonna just leave this like that because i think the colors are actually great in our case we wanted to use to change the timer background color after you edit all the elements, what I wanted to do now is just to hit into save. Usually the bar is now being created successfully. So in order to preview this, I can always go into my store, reload my page and check it out. Now it appears my countdown in here. You can always input like a new page here, like a pop-up page, but this is gonna be a little bit more different. Usually you can, the second thing that you can do is to open a new tab is to look out for a countdown timer and check it out. For example, we have the countdown timer. I can set it up here, this shareable link. I'm going to hit now into view after I paste this in beam code that was generated for me. And boom, here we have a, like a huge time account down here. So as you can see, it's not that hard to do it. You can, you can do whatever option you want to. It's going to be really, really easy to do this into your store of Shopify. So hopefully guys, it was a very useful information for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Of course, you want to see more great tools of Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video once again, guys. We'd love to see you here into TechSpress. Hopefully guys, we'll see you all next time. See you soon.